I'm Katrina, this is So in Terror, and today we are talking about what you need, things you need. Uh, specifically, how can you grow the things that are rare? Things we all need, okay? We need vitamin C, we need fats. Those are two things, I'm sure there's others. If there are others that you wanna point out, put down below in the comments. Um, vitamin C and fats are generally the harder things to grow. Uh, if you're not growing animals. So, vi well, vitamin C doesn't come from animals. Vitamin C, we generally think of as from citrus. It's also very high in miner's lettuce, any of the um, purslane, the claytonias, those are high in vitamin C. Many conifer needles are also extremely high in vitamin C, such as pine and fir and other conifer needles. So that is pretty cool. And then you have rose hips. So this, I have rose hips on the property. I just ate one for the other video. <laughs> Let's see. So a rose hip is the fruit of a rose. Yes, roses have fruits. I don't know why they're called hips. Probably because they're, I don't know, in the club? I don't know. <laughs> so this is a rose hip. It is very high in vitamin C. There are other things that are high in vitamin C. If you guys can think of them that can grow or grow wild or you can find, um, go ahead and put them in the, in the comments. And uh, like I said, the miner's lettuce and rose hips, those are things that can grow in my area uh, pretty readily. I noticed driving around there's not any citrus. So citrus is what you immediately go for, go to for when you think of vitamin C is citrus. Now I plan on, um, I plan on growing citrus in a greenhouse, a high tunnel at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, but things like this will, will get you through. So that is one thing you can grow. They grow here natively. I don't have to do anything with them, which is great. Another thing is oils. So when you talk about oils and fats, if you're growing animals, you have that. Um, now I raise, rabbits. I also had quail. I will have them again. Again, I have plans. <laughs> um, and then I have three chickens that are just pets to boot breakfast, right? Uh, but the eggs do have some fat in them. Uh, the animals do have fat. You're not going to get a whole lot of fat off a rabbit. However, I do, and I have a video here, um, on rendering rabbit fat. It takes a lot of rabbits to get enough to render and it is a low smoke point fat. So that means you're going to use it for things like biscuits and stuff like that. You're not going to use it to fry something. Um, it's going to smoke pretty quickly then. So what else can you grow? Now this is something I've been thinking about and uh, some of the things you can grow are things like nuts. They do have some higher oils in them. Now I did mention um, in a video earlier that I do have at least one chinkapen tree. I'm sure there's more, but chinkapen has nuts. There's hazelnuts here. Um, there is at least wal one walnut that I need to find still. Oh, well, I think there's walnuts here too, but I think the one that's actually being successful is over there. Uh, so nuts have have uh, both protein and oils in them um, and then things like avocado if you ha are in an area that can grow avocados or you can protect avocados and grow avocados avocado oil actually comes from the fruit not the seed so that comes from the, the fruit uh, olive oil also comes from the fruit so those are two that i know of that come from the fruits other oils you can grow is like sunflower oil that comes from the seeds, which guess what? It's a seed. It's okay. It's an oil you can, you can get, especially if you grow the right kind. So you can grow oils. Now, something like sunflower, you're going to need, you know, a bit of land to grow a lot. And so think about, think about that or think about, you know, grill the gardening. Just, hey, everybody, everybody in the neighborhood gets sunflowers. You don't know why. I know why. <laughs> so those are two things I thought I'd talk about here and uh, explore those, those things that you need. So another one would be vitamin D and vitamin D we all kind of associate with milk. Milk is fortified with vitamin D from the store and 
we actually, our bodies actually make vitamin D ourselves. It uses sunlight and I forget what it's called, but there's an organ, uh, organ, there's a whatever it is. Anyway, sunlight hits your head and it uh, helps in the making of vitamin D. That is why a lot, that is one of the reasons why a lot of people who live in uh, really rainy areas get depressed is because they don't have that that light exposure which makes that vitamin D work. So I'm sure there's other reasons too. Um, it's going off the top of my head. So if you have other plants that you can think of, oh, um, sea berry. Sea berry is another one that's high in vitamin C. I see, is it called sea berry? Sea buckthorn, there we go. Sea buckthorn, not sea berry. I don't know what a sea berry is. Uh, yeah, sea buckthorn is supposed to have a really high vitamin C content as well. And uh, I'm sure there's others. Anyway, if you have suggestions on what people should look for or should grow to meet their needs in the rare, the more rare things to grow, such as vitamin C and fats, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments and let's have a discussion on it because I think that's a really, really good idea uh, to at least know what you can go to if you can't get something. So um, I'm not a one of those preppers and fear mongers. I do like to know where my food is and what I can grow. And, you know, I mean, we all experienced it in 2020 when the grocery stores were empty. <laughs> a little ridiculous and some places actually haven't recovered all that well, which is very surprising. Um, so it's up to us to figure out what we're eating and what we're putting in our bodies. And yes, I eat things I'm not supposed to eat. <laughs> so I will admit that first thing. Uh, but rose hips is one thing. And you just eat the outside. And not all of them taste good. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Uh, and then on the inside is the seeds. So that's just a ball of seeds. And you can plant those like that. And just knowing that is a good thing. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And again, let us know what you think, what you, what plants you're growing, what plants you might think of growing to get those, those oils and that vitamin C and any other nutrients that you are thinking of as rare nutrients. And if you liked it, hit like, share this around, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.